Today, we're having a treehouse build challenge, and we can either build a $1 treehouse, a $100,000 treehouse, or a $1 million treehouse. Awesome, but how do we know who's building what treehouse? Well, it says it's expensive right here. We have a bunch of different prices, and basically, once you hit the button, you're going to get one of these prices, and that's going to be what you have to build. I'm going to go first. Uh, okay, I guess you can go first. Go ahead, the dispenser. Give me, give me, give me. Oh, a dollar? I don't want just a dollar. Ha, huh, you stink. Well, I guess I'll go next. Let's go. I got a million. Well, you got the $1 million. You're so lucky. And I guess that leaves me with 100000 And yeah, there we go. Okay, I got the 100000 one. Anyways, guys, now we have to build our treehouses at the end. We're going to see who has the very best treehouse. See you guys later. Mine's going to be awesome. No way. Mine's going to be the best. Uh, no shot. You have to use dirt, Knox. Just wait and see. Okay, guys. And since I got the $100,000 treehouse, that means I have to use like normal wood, I'm pretty sure. So the first thing I want to do is replace all this ground over here to be grass and instead of me just manually placing the grass why don't i grab one of these super cool magic wands i can select both sides like this and once i type in my super special command everything will get set to grass but down here is where i can actually build my tree house and i'm thinking i could actually have like a few different tree houses like a section over there for a bedroom maybe like a kitchen over there and just a whole bunch of random stuff okay so i think in order to make really big trees what i have to do is place like four trees down like this and use a bunch of bone meal and yes perfect look at this my super big tree is already here and now i have to make a few more of these i said i was gonna make like five different treehouse areas so let me just put one more in that corner over here i also put one in this corner one in the front corner and i'm guessing i can also place one in the middle let's just make sure all this lines up pretty evenly and okay yeah that looks pretty good let's just act on the bone meal and perfect let's do the one in the middle and this <coughs> looks like a pretty decent area for that perfect we have all our super nice trees and now that i have my trees i have to figure out the first thing i'm gonna make and obviously we kind of need a way to get up there so maybe i could grab some stairs to get us up there let's just go ahead and grab oh how about we grab some no jungle looks kind of ugly wait no, actually, it kind of looks nice. Or I could use dark oak. Let's see which one looks a little bit better. Hey, uh, Zoe, I need your opinion. What's up? Which one of these looks better? Do you like this staircase or do you like this uh, jungle staircase over here? Well, with the wood that you have, I think that you have to use the darker one. You think the dark one actually looks better? Yes. Okay, well, let me just go ahead and use this dark one then. And then I have to make like a huge thing going up. And maybe I'll make it like uh, two of these things deep. Wow, you're already so far. I need to hurry up. Wait, no, Zoe, you can't look at my build. I just wanted your opinion on the stairs. That's cheating. Well, don't ask me to come over if you don't want me to sneak a peek. Uh, okay, well, I guess that's kind of fair enough. Well, either way, it doesn't really make a difference. Let me just add in one of the turns. And actually, I'm guessing the turn could be right up here at the top. It'll make it four blocks deep. And then we'll keep going up with our staircase all the way around. I'm thinking towards the end, maybe we can have like a few different ways to get up since it's probably not smart to only have one way to get up, but we can kind of worry about that later. And I also probably need to add a little fence to the side of our staircase because uh, people like Nox are actually pretty clumsy and he might fall off my tree. Hey, don't say that about me. Well, I mean, it's kind of true, Nox. You are a little bit clumsy and if you fall off, it's going to be my problem. You're clumsy. Oh, I'm not clumsy at all. I'm the one actually building the staircase. Nah, just use ladders. No one ever falls off of ladders. No one ever falls off of ladders. Nox, a ton of people fall off of ladders. What are you even talking about? I've never fallen off of one. And it sounds like you have, so that means you're clumsy. Okay, whatever. It doesn't even matter what you say. I've seen you falling off ladders before. No, yeah, you haven't. Well, whatever. Okay, just let me finish building in this little fencing area. And I think they all need to be like one block taller than where their stairs are. We'll wrap this corner wrap, put this side up. And okay, I think our staircase is looking pretty good, but I do need to figure out what I'm gonna do for my first room. And let's see, what's probably the first thing you wanna have whenever you walk into a tree house? Maybe this could be like a nice little observation area where I can just look at everything and uh Nox, this doesn't look like a treehouse at all. Why is it so tall? Uh, because it's a huge tree. Yeah. It's a huge tree. This thing kind of just looks weird. Well, it's not done yet, obviously. Well, yeah, but trees don't really look like that. This is how trees look. Yours is just a skinnier version of mine. Well, yeah, but I mean, it just looks weird. I don't really know how to describe it. It just kind of throws me off a little bit. You'll see it at the end once I win. I really don't think you're going to win. Nox, you did get dirt after all. It's pretty bad. Uh, uh, we'll see about that. Well, like I was saying, I want to make this top deck an observation area where basically you can go between all the other trees. So let me just start making everything even over here. And actually, to make it even more tree, like how about we just keep using some of these leaves because they look nice. We could just stack this around the corner. And okay, let's make sure we actually don't hit our head on this. Okay, that looks like it works. But maybe I'll push it back like two more blocks. And we have to keep everything within this little wall right here. So actually, let me go ahead and break these. I don't want to lose points for that. And 
also break these ones at the top. Now we can go back and start using more of the leaves just to fill in this huge area. And once we're done with that, we can actually start going off into different directions. Now on top of this, let me go ahead and throw in some fences to make sure no one falls off. And I'm honestly going to keep the same dark wood theme for most of this stuff. It looks pretty good. And oh, wait a second. I kind of don't like how this acacia looks here. Maybe I should get the same dark oak blocks. Let's just replace everything in the middle there. Okay, this is making it look a lot better. But I guess the stuff on the outside could be more what the tree looks like. And obviously we need a way to connect all of the trees. So I'm thinking I could get some bridges and that's probably the best way to get around, honestly. So let's see, what type of bridges do I even have? Do I have any to do with the dark oak ones? And okay, here are the dark oak ones. Let's just make sure to throw in one of the stairs over here and now we'll keep filling it up. And I'm thinking the first area we can actually make over here is gonna be our little kitchen area. And like I said earlier, I kind of want to keep the dark wood theme. So let's go ahead and make all these other rooms out of dark wood. Let's just make a base ground area where our kitchen is gonna be and I'll fill it in on the same side over here. Now let's make sure to set all the blocks in the middle to be the same type of wood. Now for the walls, how about we actually use some of this jungle? We'll just give it a different texture. And of course, we'll place some leaves on the top. And Zoe, your tree house is looking a little bit weird. It's not looking weird at all, but stop looking at it. Well, I mean, the walls are kind of just in the way. I kind of naturally have to look at them. No, stop looking at them. It's not fair. And plus, you shouldn't even be talking because your tree house is actually coming on my side. Wait, what? Where is it even coming on your side? And oh gosh, okay, look, I could just uh, break some of these blocks. There's no need to get mad, Zoe. That should disqualify you. Wait, why would that disqualify me? Because you're cheating. How am I cheating? I just broke all the leaves. It's literally just leaves. Oh, wait, calm down. It's not just leaves. You broke the rules. I didn't break the rules. I just planted the tree and the tree just happened to kind of grow where your stuff was. I'm keeping my eye on you. Okay, the next thing I want to do for this top here is add in some glass so you can actually see the world around you. So it'll be filled on this side with glass and this side's also going to have glass, but in the middle, we're going to need to have the same bridge and this needs a little bit of space. So let's see how much space this needs. I put down this end piece. Okay, it looks like it needs to be uh, right about there so we can only place a few pieces of glass. I don't think most tree houses are closed in, so I'll just add a little fence right here. And on top of this, we're going to have to add in some leaves. So let's get some more of these juggle leaves and start building ourselves out a nice little room. Okay, let me just finish up the outside of the tree house. And uh, Zoe, I have a question for you. What is it? If my blocks like touch where this bedrock is, is that okay? No, I think that's still cheating. But that's still cheating. So we can't put anything on this bedrock. Are you serious? I'm serious. No cheating. <sighs> okay, whatever. Well, I guess I just won't put any more leaves on that side. So that kind of means I have to decorate the front a little bit more. Yeah, don't go on to her side. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm trying not to go on her side, but honestly, we're a bit close, and since my tree houses are so much bigger and better, it just takes a bunch of space. Bigger and better? What are you even talking about? Well, I mean, just look at mine. Mine actually looks like a tree house so far, and yours just looks like a weird block of gold. I just haven't added the leaves yet. You need to stop judging my build, especially because we're not even done yet. Okay, uh, fair enough, I guess, Zoe. Well, let me start grabbing some of the stuff I need for the kitchen, so let's just go ahead and turn off all these other random blocks that we don't need, and what looks like the best color that we could use. Honestly, I'm not liking any of these too much. Maybe I could grab some of these blocks since these look a little bit better. Let's just grab all the different types of kitchen stuff we need. Okay, and to start off, we're going to worry about all this stuff on the floor. So let me just make sure to add in a sink. I'll add in a few different cabinets and I'll add some more cabinets on this side. And oh gosh, wait, we also need a fridge. Well, I'm thinking I could just put it that corner over there. Let's see, where is a really cool fridge? I know I have a fridge in here somewhere. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, there's our large fridge. Let's just place it in the corner. Perfect. It's actually looking pretty nice. Now we need to add some more stuff on the top like i'm gonna add this little stove top and then we're gonna go back and add all the things that we need on the actual top like uh cabinets and probably storage and stuff but in the middle of the room i'm gonna throw ourselves a nice little island and this is basically where we're gonna have all the plates and stuff let's just start filling in the top with some of these cabinets i'll also throw in some nice glass cabinets and i do have this random kitchen shelf uh is there anywhere really to put this. No, I don't have really much space. Maybe I can just take everything out of this corner and place it there. And now we need to start decorating the actual insides of the kitchen. And for this, we're going to need like tools, like uh, maybe like a microwave. It'll put some different type of knives here. We can place our utensils here on this side over here. I'm guessing where the sink is. I can place like some paper. That way anyone needs to wipe their hands. They can pretty easily. We we'll also placed out a microwave. And I did want to put a toaster somewhere. Where can I put that? Maybe it could just be like right on the middle island. Now we need to throw some actual cutting tables on here. And I'm also thinking in the middle, we can put out some different cooking. Wait, I don't really like those cookies that much. Those are just like the normal raisin cookies. I'll also get some, oh, I'll get some chocolate chip and I'll get some sugar that can go here. Red Oreos. Uh, you want Oreos? Let's see, do I have any type of Oreos? I uh, don't, I don't think I have any type of Oreos. I mean, I have like Oreo cakes and stuff. Do you want an Oreo cake? Nope, I'm not coming over then. Wait, no, I have an Oreo cake. I just said I have an Oreo cake. Do you want an Oreo cake, Knox? I want Oreos. Yeah, I told you, I'm giving you an Oreo cake. Is that good enough? Do you have milk? Uh, do I have milk? I mean, I'm sure I have milk. Let's see. And yeah, I have like a milk jug. I could just save one for you, okay? Fine, I'm sold. Okay, well, let me put the milk in here for Knox so he can have it later. And I also have this really big Oreo cake. Let's see, do I have any other type of Oreos? Uh, I have an Oreo muffin and, oh, I have Oreo cookies. 
cookie docks. Yeah. Okay, I'll throw uh, I'll throw some of these Oreo cookies in. Do you want them in the fridge or do you want them in the pantry? I want them in the pantry. You want them in the pantry? Okay, well, I just put them all in the fridge. So let me take them all out. Ooh, do you have any Pop Tarts? Do I have Pop Tarts? Yeah, do you have any Pop Tarts? Uh, I don't think I have any Pop Tarts. I have like lollipops and stuff, though. No, I want Pop Tarts. That's going to be points off. But why is that points off? Because if you're going to have snacks, you have to have our favorites. Well, I have like other type of snacks and stuff. But I want Pop Tarts. You can't run to the store? Uh, no, I can't. But I mean, I could give you something else that's kind of like a Pop Tart. Like what? Uh, I could give you a nice cake. Ooh, cake. That sounds awesome. Okay, well, uh, what type of uh, cake do you want? I have a lot of cakes. Do you have any Pop Tart flavored cakes? Uh, is birthday cake like Pop Tart flavor or like a strawberry one? Close enough. Oh, do you want an apple one, Zoe? Oh, gosh, no. Apple's awful. Okay, well, uh, a strawberry cake then? Yeah, strawberry works. Okay, I'll put a strawberry there for you. And Nox, I put all of your Oreos in one of my cabinets. And you also wanted the milk in the cabinet. Why is that? Uh, because then it's nice and warm. That's kind of gross. You know, it can get bad, right? Yeah, if you can keep it in there for a couple of days too, that'd be even better. Uh, that's a little gross, Nox. But okay, I'll leave it in there just for you, okay? Hey, yeah. Okay, the last thing I kind of wanted to throw in. Actually, let's move this cake over a little bit so it looks a little bit better. I'll throw the salt and pepper in. Perfect. I think our kitchen actually came together pretty nicely. But now, I need to worry about building the next room and I don't really know what I want to build uh okay so we have the kitchen we have a nice little observation deck maybe i could have like a nice little fire area that way when everyone grabs their food they could just walk over and eat it well let me just light up some more of this bridge and take it all the way over to this side because this is where the big fireplace is gonna be and guys after you get your food you can just come over here and eat whatever you want Ooh, this is gonna be so tasty yeah it's gonna be super super good except i don't really know if the warm milk is the best idea nox mm, it's tasty it makes my stomach feel good it makes your stomach feel good that sounds really gross nah, it's tasty okay well i I also put a, a milk in the fridge for you just in case you wanted it. Ew, gross. Okay, well, I'll just leave it in there. Uh, Zoe, I guess if you want that milk, you can have it. Ooh, yeah, this can be so good. Let me fill in the bottom floor where all the other dark blocks need to be. And I probably need to get rid of some of these leaves because they're kind of in the way. So let's just break apart all this. And actually probably should have it touch the wall. There's really no reason to not have it touch the wall since this is basically all the space we have. I'll extend it out a little bit further. And where do I want to put the fire i mean the middle kind of makes the most sense so okay how about we move uh let's move all this back one more block so everything can be even and then i'll break apart where that tree is we'll place the edge of the bridge there and now for this is where we can actually throw in some of these fences and once the fences are done i can just break apart this tree right here and i'll actually have it connect more to the wall because it still needs some way to actually grow so i'll place a couple of the logs going this way okay that looks good and uh maybe i'll have uh this side over here connect to where the kitchen area is okay now this looks a lot nicer let's see what type of fireplace i want to add it i could add it in a fire pit or i could add in a normal campfire let's see which one looks better uh honestly they kind of look the same wait no i actually kind of like this one better okay let's place uh campfires on both the sides make sure they look right and we're probably gonna need something around that because people like to walk inside of it so let's see what's a good block okay let's do some of this jungle slab just to change it up from the darkness a little bit we'll place all of that around and now we're gonna need some seats for people to sit in let's see what type of chairs can i even add in and uh Nox, we have a little bit of a problem over here yeah i wanted to talk to you about that um you see how your tree right here is kind of sticking over close to my place i mean like barely you, uh, it's still on my side wait it's on my side what are you talking about uh think so it, especially if it grows it's gonna grow onto my side look at this if i put the bedrock all the way up it doesn't even hit my tree but if i put it all the way up even more it hits your thing yeah but mine's taller so it's not interrupting yours yours is gonna hit mine By the, you know what okay docs i make you a little deal okay i can use this bill bottom space over here and you can use the space above me fine i guess i can look past it okay well as long as we have that agreement it's fine zoe didn't want to have an agreement with me because she's mean yeah she's always mean i'm not mean well yeah you didn't want me to have my little spot on your side it wasn't even really affecting you or anything it was affecting me i want wanted to build something right where yours was well whatever okay i'm thinking for the outdoor seat what i'm gonna do is use these log live chairs so they actually look pretty nice actually this will be my side over here and uh maybe i'll grab a red one for nox and i'll grab a purple one for zoe i can put zoe's side back here uh nox could be over here by the edge that looks really good okay i don't think we need any more chairs okay maybe i actually move up Knox a little bit because he was a bit too far away perfect that makes it look a lot better and all the chairs should be pretty much even actually let's go ahead and move zoe's up one bit as well and nice our little campfire area looks really cool okay well now that i have the campfire area i think i also need to add a bedroom since i really haven't done that so let's start building in this direction Knox. what 
Why in the world is it so far on my side now? What do you mean? We had an agreement. Well, yeah, we had an agreement, but I didn't think it was going to be this far over. This is like halfway to my build. Yeah, but yours is all the way down there. But yeah, it's all... Oh, you know what? <sighs> Whatever. It doesn't even make a big difference, I guess. Okay, you know, I'll let it slide, okay? Fine. But don't let it go any further, because this is already like covering up my whole thing. I want to be able to see the sun. Uh, we'll see, but okay. No, if you go any further, Nox, I'm blowing up your build. Whoa, don't blow up my build. Okay, so don't go any further on my side. Why? Because it's going to cover up the sun, and I'm not going to get any sunlight and then my trees are gonna die. I mean, it's probably for the best. Yours is kind of ugly right now. But mine is ugly. Look at this. I have a nice little chair for you by the bonfire. And look over here. This is where I have your nice little Oreo cake. Why do you have fire? This doesn't seem safe. Why do I have fire so you could cook the food? Why else would I have fire? We're in a tree. Well, yeah, but this is like special fire. And I have like special logs that don't burn. And besides, we're going to get all smoky over here. Well, yeah, that's just if you want to cook the food, duh. Oh, does it cook sponge? Uh, yeah, it kind of does. It could just sit there and eventually I'll cook. Mm. Okay, ah. well, uh, get ah. back to your side. Yeah, obviously it's hot as fire. Hey, I, I, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't tell you could jump on my island. Like, get out of here. The Oreos are right here. That was an accident. That was an accident. Where you know, are the Oreos? Okay, you know what? If you leave, I'll, uh, I'll give you one Oreo, okay? One Oreo. Okay, there you go. Take the Oreo. Mm -mm -mm. Me. You didn't even. What? In the, you completely missed the Oreo. Okay, there you go. You can take your Oreo. You can leave now. Right. Okay, but like I said, I'm going to start building out the bedroom section and I want to have it go over here to this corner. So let me just start adding in a few more bridges that I can build with. And of course, this tree is a little bit low, so I'm going to have to break apart a bit of this, but it does look kind of cool. So maybe I'll come back at the end and just add in some more pieces. Now for the bedroom, I do want to have it be like in the open completely and underneath the tree. So I guess we don't really need walls for that, but we can start adding in the floor. And for the floor, we're going to have it do the same thing before. It's going to touch all of the walls and it's gonna go out kind of far i'm thinking this is probably a good spot right here let's just close it all the way back and then we can add fences to the outside there you go the fences for this wall and we'll also put the fences on this wall and i'm guessing we don't really need another fence on the wall over here by nox's side because there is a big bedrock wall there so let's just go ahead and fill in all the ground then and actually to make this like one step even cooler why don't i just add a bit of glass here that way you can actually see down below you we'll make this middle section all out of glass okay nice i'm gonna have to break those leaves at some point but at least you can see it on the other side well now now that most of that stuff's added in, I have to get some of the bedroom things. And of course, this isn't my bedroom. A lot of this stuff is going to be lime green. Okay, for the bed, I'm going to place it down on this back wall over here. And next to it, I'll put a couple dark bedside cabinets. Now, I also need a bit of storage. And I'll have to find some place for my closet. Maybe it could just be up against this wall. For the bottom rack, I'll throw in this super cool thing with a bunch of different clothes. And I'll throw in some more clothes here with a few different pairs of shoes. I was thinking about throwing in this bedside cabinet, but honestly, there's not really a lot of space for it. Let me get rid of this empty space over here by throwing in a couple of these logs and i'll do the same thing on this side and actually maybe i could just have it like connect on the top let's see does that look nice and okay that does look pretty cool next to my bed i'm gonna have a couple different paintings okay i'm gonna place one there uh can i place one here no i can't even place one here why well i guess maybe i'll just throw in these paintings because they look a, bit, a little bit better anyways and what else do i kind of need for my room oh i think every room needs like a crafting table and probably need some type of chest so i can store my stuff so let's go ahead and put these in the corners i'll put my chest here with a crafting table and i also need a furnace so let's just place the furnace in the corner as well and lastly for the the bedroom i do need a place where my armor can stay so let's just grab an armor stand and i'm guessing i could grab a nice little set of diamond armor that i can just put on the stand i'll place all that here and nice okay i think the bedroom actually turned out pretty good i do need it to connect to the area over here so let me just go ahead and grab some more bridge pieces we can break out this middle section throw in the end of the bridge over here and oh gosh i hate that it doesn't really connect fully but it really isn't that far so it's not too big of a deal let's just make sure to add in the middle piece right here and okay perfect it looks like that's pretty much done for upper layer we have the nice observation deck we have a nice kitchen we have a nice fireplace area and a nice better but i do want to add a few more things down here like i was saying earlier i want to have a few different ways to get up but to start i kind of need to worry about the floor a little bit how about we just add in uh, like some natural trees that can kind of just bloom everywhere i'll throw one in this corner throw one over here throw one over here and then i'm gonna go back and throw in a bunch of bone meal on the ground that way the bones actually make the grass okay since i have the final tree in, i can go back with a bunch of the bone meal and just fill everything in and i'm also thinking i want to add like a little pond to the middle just to make it look nice let's start carving on an area where i said that pond was gonna be and actually maybe it can just like wrap around the entire build that would probably look good so let's just start breaking like a little two by two area everywhere we go i'll have it go back into this corner curve around this tree back here and then it can keep going towards the middle and it's gonna have to touch like every tree for the most part that way they can actually get water and instead of running around and placing all the water by hand i'm pretty sure i could do this with a pretty easy command let's select this corner over here i'll fly to this other corner select that and then all i have to do is replace all of the air to be 
be water and let's see does it work yes look at that all the water's filled in now okay this is definitely making this look way way better than it did before let's just go back and add in a few more pieces of the bowmill just to kind of top it off well now that i have the first entrance the bottom is basically done i do need to add in like two more things i'm thinking we can add in a few different hammocks all the way around just in case people want to relax and actually we'll even have some of them go over the water just so it looks better and let's see do i have any different color hammocks uh i guess i have like a blue and a gray i don't really have like a purple or a red one but maybe zoe will like the pink one i love pink oh okay then i'm gonna throw you in a nice little pink hammock hey uh nox are you cool with like a blue hammock no i hate blue you hate blue well i mean i don't have that many colors i have like yellow and i have gray and i also have like a rainbow one i want red you want red i don't have red nox well then i don't want one okay fine i guess you're just not getting one only me and zoe are gonna have them then fine. okay now that the nice little hammocks are added in, let's make another little staircase and for this staircase i'm actually thinking it could be by where my my bedroom is so let's find a nice area that i can carve out where the staircase can start and oh wait maybe we can just go in this corner this looks good let's just start by adding in all the staircases and we're gonna have it wrapped down i do need like a bathroom in this place and i probably also need a place where we could like watch movies and stuff so maybe i'll make that where the second floor is let's just start by making a base flooring and of course we'll have the stairs go over off in this direction and we probably need to match with these first trees here so it doesn't have to go too much deeper and wait i kind of just realized this is the wrong wood let me just make sure to change all of this out no the woods all change out I can start making the first area. And this place is going to be where the movie room is. And of course, this is a movie room in a treehouse. It has to be all outside, but I have a bunch of different like comfy seats that people can sit in. Let's just make sure to grab some of our safe fences. That way people actually don't fall off. Uh, we'll throw it in this corner and then we'll wrap it all the way around. I'm thinking for the screen, it can be placed like on this tree right here. That looks like a pretty decent spot. So for the speakers of our movie, I'm actually going to place down some of these note blocks. And I think four is probably a good amount. Next thing we need to do is get some chairs. That way everyone can be comfortable. I think I'll have have like a red chair for Nox. I'll have a purple chair for Zoe, and then I'll get myself a nice little lime chair. So let's just grab each one of those. Where's the purple one? And where is the red one? Perfect. Okay. I'll put Zoe's over here. I'll put mine right in the middle side, and then I will put Nox's over here. And maybe I can actually make the screen a little bit bigger just so it kind of lines up with everyone. I'll just uh, extend this out one block. Now, for the best part of this, we're going to actually put in a working movie theater screen. Let me just place all of these blocks, and then I'll show you guys how it actually works. All I have to do is click on this screen in the middle, and perfect perfect our screen is working let's see what's gonna play and it looks like we're actually getting some nice minecraft gameplay this is so nice okay we can have that playing and of course we're all gonna need stacks while we're in our movie so let's just grab some chests and we can also probably grab some fridges i'm thinking i'll put a nice double fridge on this side and next to that we'll throw in a chest and i'll do the same thing over here except we'll only have the one chest and what type of food do i have i guess i could get like some ice cream and i could probably get some energy drinks and i could probably get like some donuts and stuff well let me just make sure to fill both fridges with some water and i'll also put some some donuts inside of this one over in the chest i'm guessing is where i can put all the energy drinks at and then we'll do the same thing for the fridge on the other side let's just place all the water at the bottom we'll place a couple donuts and actually i'll also throw the ice cream at the top well for now i'm just gonna pause the movie and everyone else can watch it whenever they actually get here let's just make this a little bit smoother by throwing in a few more staircases around now let's just make sure to cover all this up with a bunch of leaves because obviously you don't want her to get it here so let's just make sure to slap all that leaves here and we'll put it over the seats nice this is looking really really good i probably have to do the same thing for the room over here though and actually i'm thinking this camping area could just be in the open just to throw a few more leaves out in the corner it will also stretch it over here and uh since doc said i could kind of use this area i'm gonna use it let's just make sure to fill it all in place up at the top and i don't want to cover it too much as we still want all the light to get in here so i'm thinking this is a good amount of leaves to have where do i think a good spot for a bathroom would be uh maybe it could be on the same level as the movie so let's just go ahead and break some of this i'll grab my same bridges that way everything looks pretty similar okay well let me just go ahead and add in the bridge this is where the bathroom area is going to be i guess it doesn't really need to be too big actually i probably want to curve it off in this direction because it's a bit too close let's just add in a big wall over here and i'm guessing we can have two different sides of the bathroom i could place one on the side over here and then one can be going in that direction and since these are going to be bathrooms i probably need to cover everything up so let's just make the base of it first and then i'll go back and get a bunch of the wood to make walls let's just slap some more wood over here and now i will go up and get the jungle wood like i did for this one and actually we can go ahead and connect these that'll probably make it look nice okay it's looking like this side is pretty much all filled in now let's go grab the other side over here and okay this is looking pretty perfect let's just make sure to fill in all these walls and since it's actually gonna be a bathroom i'm gonna use a different type of wood we'll just uh, make these all out of the jungle wood let's just grab this and now we can go back and fill in all the walls and i'm guessing both of these sides are practically gonna have the same thing so let's 
just added two doors for both of them. And now we can go inside and add all the stuff we actually need to add in. We'll just add a toilet into the corner. We'll also throw in a bath. Over here, I'm thinking we'll add in a shower. And then we're also going to need a nice little sink area. And we can throw a cabinet on top of that. Let's make sure to throw in a nice trash can. And I'll also throw in a mirror here. That way you can actually see yourself. And okay, this bathroom looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do the same exact thing on the other side. Go, that's looking pretty good. We'll add in the same trash can. And finally, we'll throw the cabinet on top. And honestly, I think the bathroom looks pretty good. We don't really need much more than that in this. Oh, wait, I kind of forgot to add in one thing. I did want to add in some towels. That way people can actually wash their hands. So uh, maybe I can throw this on the wall when you're walking out. Now we'll just add in a couple different bathroom sides. And then the last thing I want to do is just go back and make sure that all the rooms kind of are like known what they are. And oh gosh, I forgot stairs here. Knox definitely would have fallen off. I wouldn't have fallen. Yes, you probably would have fallen off. That's why I'm adding in more of this protection. Yeah, I'm doing good. And finally, I'm just going to throw a little treehouse side. That way I know this is actually my build and I think my treehouse is done. I'm done. I'm not finished. Oh, okay, perfect. If you guys are done, uh, whose side should we look at first? The million, the hundred thousand, or the uh, the one dollar? How'd you see mine? You want us to look at yours first, Nox? Yeah, come on over. Okay, come on, Zoe. And why are you wearing full golden armor? This is just my gold outfit. Uh, okay. You look a little weird. Makes sense. She's rich. Exactly. Okay, yeah, I guess if you're rich, you kind of do have to wear gold armor all the time. All righty. So first impressions, do you like how big it is? It's super big. Yeah, I mean, it is super big. It used a lot of dirt, which kind of makes sense because this is a one dollar treehouse but um uh, you didn't use any more space on my side did you Knox? not at all okay good because i would have just blown up your whole build right now no that's rude don't do that well i'm not doing it now i thought we weren't supposed to go past the lines well uh Knox and i had a little agreement so we kind of let each other do whatever we wanted yeah we made a deal that kind of seems like cheating but okay well not really if two of us vote to do it and the other one doesn't we still have the majority nobody asked me so inside here is the little beginning pool you can see that i put, included a bunch of lily pads here isn't that nice Okay, yeah, this is super nice and kind of comforting. Cute! I love the lily pads. Yes, it's it's super budget. Obviously, I only had a dollar. Believe it or not, all of this costs less than a dollar. So, up this way. You have a whole bunch of different paintings, too. That looks really, really nice. Yep, I printed them off using my printer. Okay, let me walk it. Oh, gosh, Nox, I just fell off. Oh, my gosh, you fell. Good thing you can fly. Yeah, I mean, I can, but that's a little dangerous, don't you think? I mean, if I did more stairs, it would have cost more than a dollar. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. And, oh, my gosh, this place is huge. Yeah, I told you. It's gonna be big. This pool is really deep. Yeah, it's another pool. Wow, you have so many pools. You must be like rich or something. I like to swim. Okay, I guess if you like to swim, that makes sense too. This is all rainwater. I caught it myself. It's rainwater? So it's basically free. Okay, that's uh pretty creative. All right, here's my TV. Oh wow, this is uh my favorite channel, Docs. Yeah, you are welcome. I told you this is gonna be the best one ever, and it's cheap. Yeah, you know, honestly, so far your whole build's kind of impressing me. I can't even lie. Thank you. Your couch is super comfy. Awesome. I'm glad you like it. So now you guys can see that there are different rooms with colors associated with them. Pink is Zoe's, Green's Dax, mine, and then the bathroom. Oh, there's a bathroom. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, what room do we check out first? Mine, mine, mine! Okay, let's go ahead and check out Zoe's. And I thought, Zoe, I thought your favorite color was purple. It is purple, but I'll take pink. It's close enough. Yeah. Here's your room. I put in some paintings, and I also gave you a desk with a computer. Wow, that's a super nice desk with a computer, Knox. It was really expensive. Yeah, this is honestly super nice. And you have your own nice little bed and a bunch of nice little paintings. This is nice. Thank you. And now we'll head over to Dax's place. Come on. Let's go inside and check it out. And uh, why are there cactuses? Because they're green. Because they're, they're green and cheap. Okay, I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. But what about like poked myself with it. You got a computer too. Oh, I guess I also do have a computer. That's cool. And a green bed because you're green, obviously. I mean, that makes sense. I do like it, but I'm a little nervous if I like step into one of these cactuses, I'm going to get hurt. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, aren't you allergic to cactus? Yeah, I am a little bit allergic, but as long as I don't touch them, I should be fine. Well, the nice thing is about cactus, you can sell it and make a profit since all of this only costs less than a dollar. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll probably go ahead and uh, sell them all so I don't die. I don't sell them all. You can keep them growing. Okay, well, I'll keep this one and then I'll sell the two that are already tall. Makes sense. And and then this way, as you can see, there are leaves and stuff that stick out over here. Oh, wow. These uh, sponge leaves are uh, really nice, Nox. Mine's red. Obviously, I love redstone. Wow, you have a bunch of redstone here. Oh, my goodness. Uh -huh. yeah, it's kind of like a little mini parkour if you can get up there. Yeah, I'm not very good at parkour, though. I'm like the best at parkour. Let's see if I could do it. Zoe, you're like the worst out of all of us at parkour. Boom. Ow. Yeah, and look at that. You already fell. Dang it. Good try, Zoe. And then this way is the bathroom. Oh, okay. This better be a super cool bathroom, Nox. Uh, it's a bathroom. Actually, this was the most expensive part. This was the most expensive part. Okay, I see you have some mirrors and you also have a few different bath areas. Okay, these are just like, all, are they all toilets? Yep, they're all toilets. Oh, okay. Well, uh, where am I supposed to take a shower at? Uh, 
Uh, you can't. Oh, you pool. can't. Oh, you okay, have, okay. You have I, the pool. Oh, I do have the pool. You're right. Yep. So, I mean, that's about as good as it gets. But you have a bathroom at the very least. Honestly, Docs, this is super, super cool. Especially for a $1 treehouse. Yeah, this is super cool. A lot of effort and a lot of penny pitching. Well, since we already checked out the whole thing pretty much, and I really, really liked it, I think I'm going to give you a uh, 7 out of 10. Yeah. I'm going to give you an 8 out of 10. Uh, thanks, guys. Okay, perfect. If you got a 7 out of 10 for me and an 8 out of 10 from her, you're going to get a 15 out of 20. Let me just put your score in the front. Yeah. I feel good about that. Yeah, Docs, you did super, super good. So, wait, well, whose side do you want to check out now? Mine or yours? Let's check out mine. Okay, let's go ahead and check out yours. It used a bunch of gold, right? Yep, I used so much gold. It's like a golden apple tree house. It's a golden apple tree house? Holy cow. So, take a look around on the outside. It's actually super duper cool. Whoa, this is so golden fancy. Yep, I actually had some extra gold. That's why I needed to make this armor. Okay, I guess that kind of makes sense, especially since you had a million dollar budget. Exactly. It kind of looks like cheese. It's not cheese, Knox. It's gold. It looks tasty like cheese. I don't think it's cheese, Knox. No. Have you tried it? If you come uh, up right this no, way, I this is the sitting it. room. Oh, okay. Uh, This is a cool sitting room. Very gold. And you have a TV and a bunch of golden bars. Yep. I just had to store them somewhere. So they're kind of scattered throughout this tree house. And then the drum set made out of gold. The guitar made out of gold. My chandelier's made out of gold. And look, you can even use the drum set. That's so cool. Exactly. Okay. And then come right this way. We're going to go to the pool next. Oh, I hope your pool's a little bit better than Knox's because this is all dirt. That's not very nice. Mine's not dirt. Oh, wait. Was it one more layer down? And oh, gosh. Wait, Knox, we kind of passed it up. Guys, come on. Keep up. It's a basketball hoop. But there's yep, a basketball, basketball hoop? hoop. There's speakers to play music, a TV so you can watch TV outside, and a soda machine. Boing. Oh, look at that. I made a basket. Yeah. Oh, you took my ball. <laughs> I blocked you. Let me throw it over here. Come on, come on. Let's go. Not in my house. No, I made this one. Not in my house. I don't think I can shoot at this top one. It's too high up. And oh gosh, I just shot over the backboard. Not Zoe's house. This is a pretty cool pool. Thank you. It's super relaxing too. And you even have a creeper cola machine. Yep. Pretty tasty, right? Yeah, pretty tasty. It looks like you have, um, I don't know what this X is, but you have an Enderman flavor, a slime flavor, and I also don't know what these two things are. Me neither, but we can all test them. Come up right this way, and it's the bedroom and the gaming area. Oh, this is cool. Do you have two gaming setups? Yep, that means Nox is going to have to sit out sometimes. Oh, and these chairs even work. Wow, that's super fancy. Yeah, they spin around, and they're plated with gold, just like my PCs. Hey. This is so cool, man. I wish I had a gaming setup like this. Yeah, it's super cool. Maybe if you get a million dollars you can have one too then if you come right this way i actually have a challenge for you guys oh a challenge do we have to shoot these with like snowballs or something the first person to shoot five of these targets with the golden arrows gets whatever's in this chest oh okay you're definitely going down docs okay so gear up and i'm gonna count down okay i have my bow i'm ready you have to hit all of them you have to hit sure let's hit all of them three two one let's go, go let's go let's go okay i hit three of them so far and whoa i'm shooting so fast what in the world I see shit so whoa, fast. What i don't the heck? know it must Where be my lucky bow from? what's happening okay i only have one left and i did it i did it i did it i got them all no i got this them all crazy. no i got them all docs what? I shot some eggs. You're a cheater. I got the ball first because I had that like super, super fast arrows and stuff. Honestly, I really wasn't paying attention. So how about both of you guess a number and whoever's closest gets what's in the chest. Okay. Well, what are we guessing out of? One out of 10. One out of 10. Okay. Go first, Knox. I'm going to guess eight. You're going to guess eight. Okay. Well, I'm going to say seven. Okay. The number was 10. So that means that Knox <laughs> wins. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so dumb. Okay, Knox. The password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But go ahead and see what's in the chest. Let me see. It's a bunch of gold. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. Nox, you have to be fast. I you got cheating. it, I got it, I got it. Ah. Uh, how did you just fall through the floor? I don't know. What the heck was that? I don't know. I think Nox just like broke your tree house or something. I didn't do anything. Nox, you can't be so mad because he took the gold. Whoa, this shoots random arrows. Yeah, that's what a lucky bow does. Oh. Stop shooting, Nox. It's crazy. Okay, come right here before Nox ruins it. You can go into my kitchen. Oh, you have a nice kitchen area too. And oh my gosh, you have a bunch of honey in here. Yep, I have honey. I have golden apples, golden carrots. Let's see, is anything in this fridge? And oh my gosh, you have a bunch of golden apples in here. Yep, golden apples. I have a pizza. I have cake. What, you have golden cake? What in the world is golden cake? It's golden cake. Cake with golden it, duh. Okay, I mean, I guess that makes sense. And then that ends my build. What do you guys think? Nox, stop! Uh, Nox is breaking everything you have, Zoe. Sorry. Guys, I tried really hard on this build and Nox just ruined it. That was on accident. I'm sorry. I thought it was cool, Zoe. I did too. And I, because I destroyed it, I'm going to give you a 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was thinking more like a 9 out of 10. So I guess you're going to get a 19 out of 20. Sheesh. 19 out of 20. That's a great score. Okay, Nox, you can shoot as many arrows as you want now. 
Yeah. Yeah, and since you actually got a 19 out of 20, you have the highest score so far. So, Nox, it looks like you're in last place right now. Uh I expected that with one dollar. Okay, guys, now it's time to check out the greatest trios of all time. Are you super excited? Let's go. We saw it. No, no, no. We haven't seen it. You're going to see mine right now. And as you can see, it says Dax's treehouse. I think you misspelled your name. Yeah, you spelled Dax wrong. No, I spelled. That's how you spelled Dax. What are you talking about? Isn't there only one X? No, there's two X's. I don't know. Guys, I know how to spell my name. Stop judging me. Hey. We're just making sure you know how to spell your name. Okay, well, on this first layer, I have a couple of hammocks. And uh, since Nox didn't want a hammock, I didn't really give him one. But use it over here, Zoe. Sweet, a pink one. Yep, I give you a night peak hammock. And of course, I have all the water going everywhere just to make sure all the trees get enough water that they need. This is so relaxing. There's too much shade. There's too much shade. What do you mean? Yeah, how are you supposed to get to the sun? How are they supposed to get to the sun? Well, maybe if someone did build like a huge yellow thing over my thing, they would have enough sunlight. Probably should pick better neighbors. Okay, guys, well, let's head up the stairs for the first part of my build and this is the observation deck observation deck what are we observing well basically you could just stand up here and you can watch everything in the distance or you can just kind of pick what room you want to go to i see a really cool gold build over there yeah i do too yeah i mean it's kind of cool but mine actually looks like a treehouse so far i see some really nice diamond armor right here hey whoa whoa knock stay in line you can't just go around everywhere Oh, sorry. Okay, guys, come this way. I'm going to take you guys to the kitchen. And like I said earlier, I had some stuff for you guys. Ooh, a kitchen. Ooh, cake. Yep, I have the strawberry cake for you. And the Oreo cake is for Nox. And Nox, let me go ahead and grab all this stuff out of the pantry that I had for you. There is your warm milk. And there are some Oreos for you. Um, 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 Oreos. Ooh, the milk is nice and cheesy. Yeah, that's a little bit disgusting. Ew. But I have a lot of nice stuff in my kitchen. Like I have some nice, I have some nice paper and I just have a bunch of storage. And of course I also have a fridge. You only have milk in the fridge. Let me give you some golden apples. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll also take the golden apples. And why are you both staying on top of my counter? That's really disrespectful. Is this not what you're supposed to do in a kitchen? Yeah, we do it at my place. Well, we don't, your place is made out of dirt, Nox. It knows the way. That's not what you're supposed to do. Dax with one X would have let us do this. No, I don't Lord think Dax. he would. Okay, everyone, let's go over to the campfire area. And I built each one of you a nice little area to sit. Nox, you're obviously the red. Zoe, you're the purple. And I am the green. Wow, this is really nice. Yeah, it's just in case we want to cook our food that we made in the kitchen. Or if you want to cook like butter like Nox. Butter? That's the gold that you won. What are you doing? I have lots of it. And it tastes like butter. Ugh, tastes like butter? That had to have hurt your teeth. Mm. Tasty especially once it gets hot. Okay, gross. that's a little gross. Okay, guys, come this way. I'm going to show you guys my bedroom. Ooh, clothes. Yep, if you come right this way, I have my nice big bed, and I also have a ton of clothes inside of here. So cool. Are those Jordans? Uh, yeah, those are like Jordans. Those are Jordan ones. Are those notches? Are those notches? No, notch doesn't have a shoe. But yeah, I have some nice stuff in here, like the paintings. I have a bunch of drawers. I have a nice big bed, and I even have some books just in case I feel like reading. I don't want to see your drawers. You don't know how to read. What do you mean I don't know how to read? I know how to read perfectly fine. Okay, let me make a little sign and let me know what you think it says. Why are there apples in your drawers? Why are there apples so you can eat them? Duh. Ah, that's weird. If I just get hungry in the middle of the night, I want to like roll out of my bed and have a nice golden apple, you know? I guess. It's kind of weird. What does this sign say if you can read? Uh, well, it says Dax with one X and it says stinks, but that's not me. That is you. That's how you spell your name. No, it's with two X's, Zoe. I don't Zoe, know. Zoe, that's cooler Dax. This is lame Dax. Oh, gotcha. And cooler Dax doesn't stink. This Dax stinks. What in the world? Why are you two being so mean in my build? We're not being mean. We're just saying maybe you should take a shower. No, I think you're both being so mean. But actually, speaking of a shower, I can show you guys this room before we go on to the movie area. Hey, speaking of a shower, I have two different bathrooms. And over here is a girl shower for you, Zoe. And then, Nox, you can go on this side. And oh, that's not your shower place, Nox. Nox, get out of here. It's girls only. In here? Yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, your bathroom's over there, Nox. But I have a lot of nice stuff in here. Like, I have this little mirror for you. I have a nice bathtub, a nice shower, and I have everything. Hey, Zoe, get out of here. Ah, sorry, but hey, while you're in here, why don't you take a shower? Oh, yeah, um, I already did that earlier, actually, see? I think maybe you should take another one. No, I think Zoe, you need to take a shower. A uh, I think Nox is going a little bit crazy. Nox, I think you're crazy. How would I be wearing a milk jug? I don't know. Uh, okay, well, that's a little bit weird. Guys, make sure to turn off the water. I don't want to be wasting stuff. But aren't you kind of rich? Uh, not really. Not as rich as you. That's true, but nobody's as rich as me. Okay, guys, this area right here is the movie room. Everyone can sit inside of your chair and then i'll start playing the movie and basically you can just sit here and watch whatever you want and right now we're watching super cool minecraft this is awesome oh and you even have snacks in the fridge yeah i do have a bunch of snacks in the fridge just in case you want to eat stuff like I have energy drinks and i have donuts and water just whatever you need you have ice cream in this one yeah i also do have ice cream just in case
tasty one of that. Tasty. Mm, donuts. Okay, guys. Well, that's basically the end of the tour of my treehouse. So what did you guys think? If I'm honest, yours is the closest looking to like an actual treehouse. Unfortunately, Zoe's wasn't like made of wood or anything like that. So it didn't really look like a treehouse. Yeah, mine was made out of gold and Nox's was made out of dirt, which didn't really give tree. But yours is made out of wood. So it really looks like a treehouse. So I'm going to have to give you a 10 out of 10. I gave you a 10 out of 10 too. Oh, perfect. Okay, if you both gave me a 10 out of 10, that means I got a 20 out of 20. And I take first place. Zoe takes second place. And uh, sorry, Nox, you got last. Yeah, that's what happens when you only get a dollar. And that was a super crazy adventure. Make sure to watch the next one by clicking the video on screen. Bye, guys.